Coming up, Fridia Gibbs, Sumaya Nani for the WIBA Junior Welterweight Championship, scheduled for 10 rounds. Get a chance in a few minutes to check out the uh, tail of the tape, uh, Sean. It should tell us a few things. A few things like Gibbs, uh, just a little bit taller. Anani has the reach and nine years younger. Anani, pretty aggressive in the ring, but Gibbs will try to keep her on her heels. And, and Gibbs is a young 38 because she's only had nine professional fights. The rules. No standing eight count, mandatory eight count after knockdowns. Three knockdown rule in effect. Or no, actually no three knockdown rule here. You cannot, cannot be saved by the bell in any round and only the ref can stop the fight. And of course they implement the 10 point must system and again, two minute rounds. Here's the WIBA belt. That is what they're fighting for. Get that belt wrapped around your waist. And believe me, both of these girls want that belt. I had a chance to talk to them before this fight and they're both hungry. You gotta, you gotta buy those pants with the big belt loops though. It's really difficult to find those. I'd have to have suspenders. Sumaya, the island girl, Anani. Mentioned a record of 18 and one, coming off a victory over Britt Van Buskirk. She avenged a, a loss to Van Buskirk. September of 2000, her last fight, October 20th of this year. And again, I did that fight with Christy Martin, December the 18th in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and it was an all-out war slugfest, and I expect to see that type of a brawling style from Sumaya tonight, Linda. Oh, uh, that fight was definitely a barn burner, and Sumaya, she, she is definitely ready to fight Fridia. You know, something that somebody doesn't know about Samaya, she's a holistic healer, and she's a very accomplished boxer. And this girl, she comes in the ring relentless. You gotta basically knock her out to get her off of you. Holistic healer, so she could knock out her opponent, and then go over and heal her. That's uh, that'd be convenient. Or heal herself. Fridia Lynn Gibbs, the cheetah. We've seen her not only in the ring, but on the big screen. She was. Uh, she in played, movie. yeah, the Terminator and kick uh, knockout. She was also played a small part in the Prince of Bel Air. Just uh, dressed in her clan in her cheetah attire. Very good athlete, all around athlete. In high school, she played basketball, ran track. She also played professional basketball in Germany. They won the championship there too, by the way. She was very proud of that. She's, she's really used to being a champion and a winner, so um, this is gonna definitely be a test for her. And something you might wanna keep in mind also is she was a kickboxer, 15-0 uh, and 0 was her record. She's undefeated. She was a world champion. Favorite fighter, Sugar Shane Mosley, and we'll see some of that Mosley type style from Gibbs when this fight gets underway. Something that's really gonna help Fridia is she was a state champion in track. That's gonna give her a lot of endurance. Runs like a cheetah. Well, it's time to get things underway. Let's throw it up to ring announcer, Mark Biro. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Austin Convention Center in Austin, Texas for Corona's world-class championship boxing under the promotion of RPM Boxing and Brian Pardo and presented by CSI Sports in association with Double Tree Club Austin, Pennzoil, and Corona La Cerveza Mas Fina. This is your first contest of the evening. It is scheduled for 10 two-minute rounds for the WIBA Welterweight Championship of the World. Your referee for this event is Jerry McKenzie. Introducing in the red corner to my right, wearing the tie-dye colored trunks and weighing in at 139 pounds, she boxes out of Kansas City, Missouri, 
her professional record, 18 victories, one defeat, and seven wins coming by way of knockout. Here is Sumia Anani. Anani. Her opponent in the blue corner, wearing the cheetah style trunks, weighing 138 and a quarter pounds. She hails from Chester, Pennsylvania, with a professional record of eight victories, one defeat, two wins coming by way of knockout. Here is Frida Gibbs. Gibbs, 10 two minute rounds for the WIBA Junior Welterweight Championship of the world. All right, guys, you know what, while you're here, all right, protect yourself at all times. Touch them up, let's go to work. So we're set to go. Rydia Gibbs in the cheetah attire. And of course, Sumaya Nani in, I don't know how to describe the, that, I guess it's a, an island type look. It's colorful. Tie-dye? <laughs> is that what it is? I don't know. I remember my parents talking about that tie-dye stuff. Is that, do you know what it is? Not exactly. James Smith. Did, aren't you the Bone Crusher? <laughs> I don't remember I that guy. James Bone Crusher Smith. I know him. Sitting right next to me. Starting this fight off. You will see Anani trying to cut off the ring and coming forward. And Fridia trying to utilize all of this ring. Samaya seems to be protecting herself a little better than Fridia. She's, she's got that, uh, her hands down, which, which is a classic style for some boxers, but sometimes it can be dangerous if you're in against a real experienced, uh, experienced boxer like Samaya. Or a hard right hand puncher, carrying that left hand down low like she does. She tries to flip the punches up. Gibbs tries to flip up her jab. There's a nice job of that. She's got to be careful. What I like for fighters to do is sometimes bring that hand up or try to roll with the shoulder. Shoulder right in front of your chin. Nani did a smart thing there, jabbing with the jabber. Of course, uh, Rydia carrying the left hand very low, confident of her speed advantage against Anani. I'd like to see Anani use a real quick right hand, be very effective against somebody like Fridia. Something you gotta understand, since this is a 10 round fight, these girls might be, you know, setting each other up a little bit at the beginning, you know, waiting until some later rounds to really start putting in some power. But you never know, if they get one of them wounded, hey, they're predators, they're gonna go after them. You know, these 10 round fights, Linda, you still have time to set up a fight plan and you kind of work it and then you change and alter as the fight goes on, is that right? Well, you do, but you know, they're short around, so they, they really got to check each other out pretty quick and, and, you know, they really got to watch it and make sure that they're, they're getting in what they need to. Good body work along the ropes by Anani and she will go to this body. Her match up with Martin, both fighters were going to the body the entire night and that will pay dividends, Sean, in the later rounds. She's able to work the body and slow down Fridia Gibbs. Well, she said she was going to go downstairs. She knew that Gibbs is very strong and she's fast. She wanted to go downstairs to the body and slow Gibbs down. End of round, round number one. It is good. Just react. Arms down. Just as we expected, Gibbs trying to utilize the entire ring and Anani trying to cut it off. Hey, get your left hook in there because she's reaching. She's reaching, all right? There's a listener in the corner, Jerry Claven. He's talking to her right in the center of the ring. Cassius Green leaning over. Veteran trainer, Cassius Green. I'll tell you about the kid. She's reaching for the jab. She goes to the jab and watch Cassius Green work out. You pulled the one too bad. Okay, so you can't get the punch Good fighter. Okay, how long ago was that? Just a few years ago, I was a kid. Guess what color his trunks always were? Cassius Green. Green. Good guess. You wore a lot of green, too. He's lucky his Second name was out. Cassius Pink. Second out. We approach the second round. His last name would have been St. John then. Round two. Round two. James Smith, Sean O'Grady, Linda Robinson. We are in Austin, Texas at the convention center for this WIBA Junior Welterweight Championship. Fridia Gibbs with the right hand. She's got a very intense look on her face. That girl's getting in a good right hand. Look at the muscles on Fridia's back. 
right up around her shoulders. You think she's been working out? You know, you guys talked about the, the background of Freedy and how a great athlete she is. Three-time world kickboxing champion. She loved kickboxing, but all of a sudden she went into boxing. She started back in 1996. So she certainly knows her way around the ring. Record of eight and one, two KOs, but she brings all knowledge, a wealth of knowledge from her martial arts background. Well, I was talking to her before this fight. You know, I asked her kind of what she wanted to do in the future, and she said she wants to take all comers. She's not afraid of anybody, and Lucia Reifer's in the, the near future for her, and she's she wanting to set up a fight like that. And she likes to get, by Anani. To get with it, too, at 38 years old. She's in a little bit of a hurry. Anani got into boxing. Her trainer, Barry Buckner, who was a Golden Gloves champion in uh, Kansas City, Talked her into starting her boxing career. So she started also back in 1960, uh, 1996. Anani beating Martin was a good thing for her, but she really never got a chance to take advantage of it because after that, a lot of girls were afraid to fight her. You know, that, that put her in a very high competition level. Good work on the inside by Anani. Heating it up now, and she brings a lot of confidence into this fight with her, Don Anani King, does. Don King offered Anani a, a contract after that after that uh, fight, that victory, but she turned it down. Coming up on the end of the round, and we'll be back with more action from the Austin, Texas Convention Center. There is a bell, that's the end of round two. What do you get her? There's a look. In the corner. Samaya Anani. You gotta fight your fight. Barry Buckner will talk to her in the boxing. See what you look right here? That's him leaning over the corner. Also in that corner is Micah T. Talk to a combination. You gotta get in. Inside the corner. Both times, both well. Inside your turn of fight. That's good instructions. Right on the inside, you gotta be busy, you gotta throw the, All right. throw the punches. What round is he, you guys? Body shot. This is round oh, three. Oh, round round three. three, thank you. Get into it. Hey, just keep it action like you do. She's definitely a knockout. Out. Three or four Second punches like the two. We have the third round. Round three. Round three. three. Scheduled for 10. Freedia Gibbs. You were talking about Anani not wanting to sign on with Don King. Sometimes when you get on with a big promoter like that, they'll lock you in and, and you'll either have a fight or you'll be inactive. So it's taking a chance either way. I mean, you protect it in one direction, but then you kind of open in another. Yeah, but it was a good move for Christy Martin, who made, you know, was making $100,000 a fight, whereas Anani's career really not much happened after that uh, victory. And at that time, I felt she was really one, two, three, one of the top three women fighters in the world. Precisely. I mean, she, she had an opportunity there, but for some reason or another, she chose not to take it. Certainly brought a, uh, another level to the side of female boxing, Christy Martin did. In fact, Anani said, when I fought Martin, I was undaunted. He said, he said I, I simply thought I was going to fight somebody else if it was a nobody. I went in there with, she went in there with that mindset, was able to put off the victory. That's what she's trying to do in this fight here. A warning from Jerry McKenzie. Anani very aggressive, as she should be, to try to slow down. Greedy again, the quicker of the two. That was the instructions in the corner. Between rounds, stay on top. They were also going downstairs for the body, mixing up her attack. For Freedia, she has to stay on the outside. Look how Freedia does a nice job of circling around her opponent. She stays at the right distance. She's not too close, not too far away when she spins around. You got Freedia, who's a boxer puncher, and here's Anani that's a technical boxer. She's got a lot of action, and she's an aggressor, so it makes a very good fight. And if you're the aggressor without a lot of power, you need to throw many punches, don't you, Linda? Oh, uh, you got to definitely throw a lot of punches. you got to get them combinations in, and you got to make sure your distance is there. You see the mouth a little open on Freedia Gibbs. I don't know whether Teague would be setting in this early. Good right hand by Gibbs. And you see the elusiveness of Freedia Gibbs. There is the battle. That's the end of round three. Good round. Gibbs come on, coming on at the, the latter part Take of that round. Breath. Just relax. Just Let's relax. Her Water. Corner. Just relax. Just relax. All right. Jerry Claybon. Plenty of time. I like that. That's hey. good instruction. You Just see relax. That 
Yeah. Read them. Right they work, but we ain't throwing it. You gotta throw some leather. You understand what I'm saying? You got to they throw want some her to leather. get busier. She's yeah. yeah. standing around a little bit too much, but uh, in that third round, here's what was happening. Allowing Anani to score, Fridia Gibbs just trying to move her out of the way, using too much defense. They don't like that in her corner. They want her punching back, retaliate. Yes, my she she show some of her track, track skills there, uh, Linda, and yeah. looseness Go avoiding the shot. Go out. You're beating her on Maya the inside. Maya Nani. That's pretty as planned. That's going to be to try to we frustrate Samaya Nani, but that's going to be a difficult task. Yeah, with all that experience Samaya has, it's definitely going to be hard to get her off her fight plan. And with that confidence, Linda, how does that affect her? And, and is it harder to break her down when she's so confident coming off the win over Mark? Oh, definitely. I mean, whenever you beat somebody of that magnitude, you, you look at yourself in a whole different light and you realize that you can do a lot of things. And, and you build a great confidence within yourself. Now this is turning into a, uh, a brawl. The referee wants him to break up. Hey, stop fighting. It's a fight. Let him fight. One point for what? Holding and hitting? One point taken away. Yeah, why? Like Freedia Gibb gets a point taken away. My question yeah. is why? Oh, he's going to take it away take from, both from both of them. them. Also, it's a washout. When I say break, I want you stepping back and breaking. Offsetting penalties. So no yards lost. Rather than take a point, just warn him. Samaya so, Nani, that's what she needs to, to do to utilize. To come in and roll like, like that. This is... I think Jerry should have given him a 15-yard penalty. That's what I think. <laughs> oh, boy, point it out. Anani, doing just what she needs to do. Get down low and move in and then score. Use her strength, her power. Boy, she's definitely a smart fighter. I mean, she's able to adjust, and she's coming in with a full arsenal of all kinds of things to do against Gibbs. And Linda, you know, Gibbs took a lot of time off. 1999, she fought a couple times, and then, and then had like almost a year and a half, two-year layoff before her last fight against Susan Howard in uh, June of uh, this year. Well, that really gives you a lot of ring rust. I mean, you can you can only spar so much in the gym, but you got to actually be in front of the camera fighting with somebody for real in order to keep up uh, and polish and keep your skills you know, at, at top peak performance. Of course, and she's only been 10 rounds one time in her career. Coming up on 10 seconds to go. Hanani four times. Fridia Gibbs, Sumaya Hanani for the WIBA Junior Welterweight Championship. Good. The one-two is landed each and every time. The one-two is landed. They each like and it every over time. there. The one-two lands every yeah, time. You're not, you're not even breathing hard. Take a deep breath. Real you're confidence builder hard. in that corner. Okay. You know, all of this hard work of training hey, is all you're looking coming good. down to the 20 one two minutes is working of boxing every time. time. You double, triple to up your jet. One one two two keeping that going, all right? Only 20 Don't minutes. It doesn't sound that long, does it? But when you're in there, you know. Oh, my goodness. It's a lot different than 20 minutes outside the ring. Yeah, what do you try to tell people to do? You just try hitting a heavy bag for five minutes of gloves on, you know? The most important thing you can tell a fighter in that corner is breathe. Catch your breath. And Frida, catching the right hand. This is, she has not gone through this fight without getting hit. Here she is catching these punches, and on top of her, Anani, she won't stop. Round five. Round number five. Exciting fight thus far. Sumaya Anani, Fridia Gibbs. You'll notice the tempo of this fight is definitely picked up. Yeah, but you have to make that maybe the tide has turned. You know, that last round, I thought Anani had a terrific round. She, she seemed to take control. Gibbs kind of faded in that, in that fourth round. So I'm thinking maybe the turning point's here. For Gibbs, she really has to fire up. She's really got to change the tide, turn the tempo right now, or she's going to be, be, be fading through that throughout the fight. She's only been 10 rounds once. What she's not doing, Freddy, is throwing more than one punch at a time. She's beating Anani to the punch. She's a quicker-handed fighter, but she's throwing pretty much one punch at a time. You'd like to see combination punching. Looking through a knockout. That's definitely what's going to get her in trouble with Sanani because she's, she's an aggressive, active fighter, and she'll come at you with uh, just a whole lot of punches. Big hook by Anani. Look who's holding on. Holding being done 
Three Gibbs holding like a cheetah. I think I think that uh, hook really got the attention of uh, Fridia. Well, Fridia's given Anani a lot of respect, and she's studying her a little long in between uh, coming in with a punch. And, you know, my trainer always told me, you study long, you study long. So, you know, she needs to do something and, and come on in. My college part, professor told me. For the most part, Sean, you'd have to say this is effective aggressiveness by Anani. Absolutely. When she moves in, she punches. Now, it, it's, up, it's up to Gibbs to grab a hold of her and, and to hang on to her until the referee breaks them. Because Gibbs wants to fight from a distance. She wants to fight outside. Well, and if you get a couple of good shots landed on you, you definitely want to clinch on the other person, kind of slow them down. All right, we're halfway through what has been an already exciting 10-round battle. Sumaya, Anani, and Fridia Gibbs. There's the bell, that's the end of round five. Nice job. Good job, Sumaya. We know. But here's the thing. She's got a chance to get out there. Inside the naughty corner. You're not listening to me. Will you fight her? This is a street fight, Samaya. This is inside. You understand? Fight your fucking fight. You understand me? Don't fight her fight anymore. You better just give her. her. She don't want to fight on the inside. Trying to get her to come in. He wants her to fight on the inside. I'll tell you something. You're, you're getting so much heat out there in the ring. I hate being put on the griddle when you get back to your corner. That's your, your safe haven over there. Good cross, a good hook from Anani. Putting the pressure on and keeping it on. That was the best punch of the fight. Very good punch for Anani. And you saw how Gibbs blinked. She took her eye off of her opponent. She turned her head. She was hurt. Six. Round number six, scheduled for ten. Freedia Gibbs in the cheetah attire. Samaya Nani coming forward. James Smith, Smitty along with Sean O'Grady and Linda Robinson calling the action, and there's a lot of it here. And these punches all had bad intentions on them. You can hear them smack whenever they hit each other. I'm glad you said that. Bad intentions. Samaya in her corner. They were uh, pretty blunt to the point about what she needs to do, Sean. No question about it. They want her to attack. They want her to get on top of her opponent. It would be useful, too, if she could cut off the ring. Linda, you know what I'm talking about? If she can corner up the cheetah, it's hard to get a, get a cheetah in the corner. Well, it definitely is. And, and, you know, if she can't cut her off, then she's chasing her. And, and basically what, why they want her to get inside is kind of diffuse some of that power that Freddie has given her. They don't want to chase it. No. Either. Isn't that the fastest animal on earth? Well, I've you got to corner so. her up. Slide over, cut off the ring. What I mean by that is you use lateral movement. Yes, you slide down the ropes, corner your opponent up. I have this fight scored 49 to 47 for Anani. Again, the, the judges may have it a little different. Liking the movement and speed of the cheetah. Fridia Gibbs. Two minute rounds, remember, in women's boxing. And that was a good counter with the right hand that, that Fridia did with Sonani. Frida just doesn't have the same intention with her punches she did in those first five rounds. She has definitely faded here. Well, you got to wonder if it's, you know, whether she wants it as bad as Sonani or if it's experience. She, is, she has a never, different complexion of the fight here than it was in those early rounds. She has never faced anybody as tough as Sumaya Nani. She, her only loss was to Leah Mellinger, who was a boxer type, and that was back in 1998. But certainly she's never faced this type of pressure that Anani is putting on her right now. Right plans work. And these punches are bad punches. Another good round, in my opinion, for Sumaya Anani. As we go into the corner of Fridia Gibbs. Relax, take a deep breath. Hey, Let's listen. I'm seeing these weapons in Spurs. Let me see the water, Cash. I'm seeing these weapons the water, in, in, in Spurs. Hey, you're throwing these punches in Spurs. I don't want you throwing these punches in Spurs. You went to the hook with the body, and you went to the hook to the head. That's it, work. You jabbed down here, came with the uppercut. You have asking for a sustained attack in that corner. You're, you're fighting in, you're fighting in spurts. They mean you're, you're fighting, and then you stop. Whenever she stops, her opponent picks up the action and takes the play away from her. Gibbs losing the round with that kind of, that kind of action. And as we mentioned, she's throwing one more. punch at a time. When you had that time, you know, she mentioned Shane Mosley, her favorite fighter. Trigger Shane Mosley, what he's known for is punches and punches. 
of swelling around that left eye, Anani. That's par for the course with her. Round seven from the Austin Convention Center. Well, one of the best things these trainers can tell their fighters in the corner is to basically breathe and relax. Right now, Anani really trying to really turn up the pressure. Working hard on the inside, landing and digging some good body shots. So important in a 10 round fight. Body shots accumulate. The opponent shakes off those shots to the head. The mouth of uh, Freedia Gibbs open. Well, and Sinani uh, was basically one of her hands was getting held by Freedia, so she was doing what any boxer would do. I mean, you know where one hand is, so you use the other. You definitely got good range then. I have Anani ahead by three points now, so, but again, you know, so much subjection in scoring and how, how you score a fight. Do you like the aggressive Anani coming forward, landing the harder shots, or do you like the elusiveness, the movement, the quicker handed Freedia Gibbs, who right now is catching more than throwing and holding on and showing some signs, some signs, Sean, of fatigue that was body punches taking a little bit of a toll on it. You know, and you really see the feelings manifest on both of their faces. Anani wants this fight. You can see her focus. You can see the punches from her. She, she is just attacking her in her adversary. Gibbs, more trying to relax in this. She's trying to back up. She's trying to stay out of the way, using defense. Big right it's hand. Awesome. Big right hand by Anani landed there. And on the inside, it's all Anani. Oh, Anani's relentless. Like I said earlier um, in this fight, you got to knock her out to get her off of you. Coming up on the end of round number seven, yet another exciting round. Freddy gives Sumaya Anani. <laughs> Want some left hands over there. Stay left handed. Very Becker, when you get in, stay in. What he's saying is we work your way on the inside. Stay in there and attack. Don't back up. Don't get off of her. She's tired. She's tired She's now. Tired. Mike Mack well, coming on that eye. And and they know it. She is eight. tired. They are Don't right. Don't get her and stay on a street fighter. Don't box her, Samaya. Bleeding with his fighter. Second one out. before when he was kind of trying to wake her up. Back inside the convention center here in Austin, Texas. Sumaya Nani back on the attack, backing up Freedia Gibbs. This one's scheduled for 10 for the WIBA Junior Welterweight Championship. Anani with a record of 18 and 1. Gibbs 8 and 1. Gibbs nice right hand. That's nice right hand, but she's no, got no power with it. She's not throwing her shoulder into it. Well, and the fact that she's throwing one punch at a time, you know, she's got to come across with two. Look at the mouth, Linda, of. Freedia Gibbs, wide open, a clear sign of, of that fatigue. Oh, she's definitely fatigued, but I mean, Sinani will take that out on any fighter. She'll wear anybody out. Anani's punch output has really not slowed down much, Sean. Pretty much uh, just as busy now here in round eight as she was in round number one. Hey, she's in good shape, and she said this was her plan tonight. You know, it really works. Big right hand from her, and she pours it on. Look at these combinations. She can smell victory. She knows she's ahead in this fight. She knows the score, and she's keeping the pressure on. You know, she, she says in the ring, I'm a boxer brawler tonight. She said, I'm going to be more of a brawler, and she certainly is. And she puts a lot of mental pressure on her, on her opponent, because even when Gibbs lands a nice shot, Nani just walks right through it. She did the same thing in that Martin fight. You know, she put a lot of mental pressure because she just keeps coming. Guts and determination. Well, something you notice about the women, too, is they're not real big body punchers. A lot of times they're head hunters, and they go straight for the head most of the time where the men tend to try to wear you out with the body. You know, you kill the body, the head will follow. But women just don't seem to, to fight that way. Anani's doing a nice job with the body right oh, there. Oh, she definitely Anani is. Trying to hold on to Gibbs. Anani finding the holes. 
She may knock her off. Keep the pressure on. They want to KO in her corner. Non-stop action by Samaya Nani. We come to the end of round eight. Coming up, co-main event, there is the colorful Valerie Mafood. Gotta love the hair. Shy, unassuming, rather bashful young lady. <laughs> Not exactly. She'll take on Trina Ortegon. Coming up next. Very flamboyant, the Jorge Paez of female boxing. She said she had some extra dye left. Hair dye. You gonna, you gonna take her up on it? I don't think I so. I think you'd look good in purple. Some of her fans cut their hair like hers and colored it. All of them? Seconds. Oh. Both of them? Seconds. Yep. We approach the a lot of people, a lot of people here to support her. A lot of fans. Round nine. Round number nine, scheduled for 10. And this is a window of opportunity that's open for Anani. She has to pour it on right at the first like this, she'll get a knockout. Pour it on. Fridia is thinking about it. She's wondering if she really wants to be in this fight in the ninth round. Well, Fridia Gibbs is a very skilled athlete. Sumaya Anani is a skilled, tough, gritty veteran fighter. And again, like I said, at one point in her career, I had her ranked in the top two or three in the world up there with Martins and Lucia Rikers and others. Because of pressure, she's just a tremendous pressure fighter. She certainly has a lot of pride. Look at the showing the marks of this fight, a sprung underneath the left eye, bruised up nose, and you can see she wears her heart on her trunks. Wow, she threw that, that last right hand from Kansas City. It nearly landed. Gibbs avoided it. Well, Anani's definitely getting to take advantage of some body shots with Gibbs. There was a point, Linda, earlier in the fight where Gibbs was able to slide off the rope to utilize this ring, not anymore. Well, these punches are definitely accumulating on Gibbs. And, you know, said with Sonani hitting her in the body so much, you know, those body shots start really taking a toll. And now, Sean, she's just Gibbs pawing with the left jab. Gibbs completely out of, out of gas. Right, now, not used to the 10 round. She's uh, hey, hey. wondering what she could do. She says, how can I keep a Nani off of me? Nani's been 10 rounds herself four times during her career. As John mentioned, I think Gibbs might have been 10 rounds at one time against Bellinger. That was way back in 1998. Good body work on the inside by Sumaya Nani. One hand free and she's utilizing it. Last time I'm okay. Let's Ten go. rounds the last two fights for Anani. She's using that experience in this match tonight. Another good round for Sumaya Anani. Good round. Take a deep breath. I have right. Linda Gibbs who will need a knockout, in my opinion, to win this fight. Well, and that's the only way she's going to get Samaya off of her. She's got to knock her out to win, and she's got to knock her out to get her to go away. And the last time that Gibbs got a knockout, back in October of 1997. She has to let her hands fly. Some of the action from that ninth round. You know, that round, I thought a window of opportunity open. Anani kept the pressure on, but uh, Gibbs did everything she could to stay in there. Two Anani, minutes, the final baby. round. Let him go, like Castleton. Two minutes. Seconds Al out. Man says. Seconds out. We're he knows he wants a KO. And final round. All right, 10th and final round for this IB, WIBA Junior Welterweight Championship. Samaya Nani on the tag again, early. Freddie Gibbs trying to land some counters off the road. Not able to do it. Downstairs to the body, there's Anani. It has to be frustrating, Linda, to take on a Samaya Anani who is just all over you. Uh, when you get a fighter all over you like that and you're not able to hurt him with your 
with punches, I mean, it's very frustrating. A lot of talent from her, too. She turns right-handed, she turns back to the southpaw stance, conventional, unconventional, she throws punches from all angles. She's busy in the ring. How do you fight someone like that that, that is all over you, like a cheap suit? Well, number one, she's got to throw more than one punch at a time. She's got to start barraging her with different punches and, and coming at her. You know, when you got somebody coming at you with uh, lots of combinations, I mean, you got to either counter them or come back with some more of your own. Yeah, good power would help her, too, if she put a little power behind her punches. You, gotta, you have to do something to break the concentration of Anani. Gibbs is waiting to counter punch, and that's not going to get it done here tonight. She's way behind. She's just going to have to take some chances and set down on that right hand. She has landed a few, but it has not phased Sumaya Anani. Well, one of the give, things that Gibbs needed to do was keep Samaya off her with her jab, and she's not been able to do that, because Samaya, you just don't break her concentration. That girl is totally focused. One direction, she knows, get in there and score. Oh, yeah. The Island Girl coming up on 20 seconds to go. Samaya Anani. Who, unless a miracle happens here in Austin, will have yet another championship. Maya's always going to give you a good fight. She's always going to give the crowd exactly what they're looking for. Lots of action. Ten seconds to go. And Anani's still on the attack. Here's the bell, the bell. Good fight. Both, both fighters say that. Trying to play now for the judges. Throw your arms up. Ladies and gentlemen, Look around, make some eye contact with the judges. I'll tell you something. Here the Gibbs, hoping not to get cheated. Coming up, Valerie Mahfoud and Trina Ortegon in a super middleweight bout. who will claim this WIBA Junior Welterweight Championship. On my scorecard, I have it 99 to 92 for Anani. That may be a little too lopsided, but nevertheless, she certainly won the fight. Well, Anani definitely seemed to be taking control of this fight and throwing more punches and landing some really clean, good shots. Um, what will be interesting is I'd like to see the winner of this fight uh, take on Lucia Riker and get her back in the ring so the fans can see her again. Great feeling, though. If you think you have won this fight, waiting for the announcement, uh, Sumaya Anani, certainly hoping not to get uh, Cheetah tonight. Of course, they did uh, deduct a point from both fighters earlier. I didn't note that on my scorecard. Back inside the Austin Convention Center here in Austin, Texas. We had an exciting first fight, 10-rounder. Fridia Gibbs, Sumaya Anani. I had it 99-92 to 92 for Anani. In just a, a moment, we'll find out the exacts from Mark Biro. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the decision of the three judges at ringside. Judge Oren Schellenberger scores the bout 96-92 on Nani. <laughs> Judges Ray Hawkins and George Garland both see the bout 94-94. We have a majority draw. A majority draw. Wow, that, that's a lousy decision. 
my opinion. Well, many. they both got cheated. <laughs> yeah, they really did. A draw. Yeah. Nobody wants to fight to a draw. Fredia did some good work in there. She moved around and she landed some nice shots, but you can't Anani with Ladies all of those punches. Ladies and gentlemen, and once again for a fight level of effect on those punches. And I, I just don't think that that's uh, yeah, not I a good decision. I don't think that belt will fit around both of them. And I don't think Lucia wants to fight them both either. Well, coming up, more action. Valerie Mahmoud against Trina Ortegon. Super middleweight championship on the line. crowd here in the convention center a little bit befuddled I think uh, by that decision but it, Anani doing a fine job of firing up this crowd she's throwing out t-shirts there goes one right there yeah. uh, went over some fans good. and they they do appreciate it oh, well, exactly she knows right. how to work the crowd showing good sportsmanship and, and she's uh, you know after winning that fight with Martin she thought that that was just going to catapult her career and it and it didn't uh, so she's been you know on the ebb and flow of, uh, of boxing that's good sportswomanship, I believe. Is that would be the proper correct. Being politically correct. Yes. Nice, nice.